This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AJuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create an RGB distorted text effect inside of After Effects using some very interesting and cool techniques. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our final render comp. Let's keep the width to 1920 and height to 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Then create one more new composition, which is going to be our title placeholder. So let's call this title with the same exact properties. Then we can select our text tool and type in the text that we want to add. So I'm going to call this distortion. You can of course type in whatever that you want. So for the font color, I'm going to keep it white. And um, for the font, I will be going with heading pro bold. I have mentioned the link in the description. If you guys want to download the same exact font, let's increase the size. Let's keep it big. And for the spacing, I'll go with minus 10. So that looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll set this to around 200. All right, align it properly. You can find the align tab again in the Windows align. So here we have our text. Now let's go back into our render comp and create a noise map. So basically, we need to create a new composition again called this uh, fractal. And let's hit OK. I'm going to hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this F for fractal and go to effects and presets. So I'll launch up the panel by going into windows, effects and presets. Let's type in fractal noise. I can just double click to apply that up. So in the fractal type, let's set this from basic to something like um, let's go with strings. Let's increase the contrast all the way up to 400 and let's increase the brightness a bit maybe around 25 works good then let's jump into the transform properties unlink the uniform scaling and i'm going to scale the height really high just like so and also let's bring down the complexity at the same time to two and i'm going to increase this really high let's go with something like around 4000 oh 4000 and now we can animate the evolution just like so and it looks super cool as you can see pretty nice so to animate the revolution i will be using a very simple expression so i can hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the evolution and right down here i can add my expression so i'll be using time times around let's go with something like 40 for now let's see Yep, I think that is looking pretty nice. Maybe I'll make it a bit more faster, like like 50. Yep, I like it. Now, let's now it's a bit bit too sharp for my liking. So let's add a fast box blur on this. So I'm gonna go into effects and preset, type in fast box blur double click to apply that up and blur radius to three very very subtle as you can see and also turn on the repeat edge pixels right here and now to make them look a bit swirly what i can do is use an effect called turbulence displays so double click again and you can see we get this really crazy look and it looks amazing so let's tweak some settings here i'm going to increase the size to 200 that works pretty nice i can see and again i also want to animate the evolution of this so we get a very trippy kind of an effect so again we can use the same expression hold alt click on the stopwatch and time times 50. so let's see what we get and as you can see we get this really cool look 
and this is going to be our map which is going to drive the animation for that rgb look Now let's select this and hit Control Shift C. Let's call this um, let's call this map. All right, move all attributes. Hit OK, and then I'm going to select the rectangle tool and create a mask just like so. Click on Invert and hit F to feather up the mask just like that. All right, I can hit V. Let me bring this down a bit. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to add a background color for this. So we can hit control Y and add a BG and let's give it a nice gray color, something like that. Put this at the back. So we have a nice blend in as you can see. Now let's go back into our main render comp and drag and drop in our title and our fractal map as well. We can hide that. We don't need to see it or make it visible. Let's select the title and the first effect that i will be adding is the fill effect so that we can easily color up our title if you want to change the color to a different color the second effect is going to be cc glass and this effect is going to help us to get a very nice look so in the bump map type i'm going to set this to the fractal composition that we created and if i just preview this you can see we get this really cool distortion into our text basically we need to change the property from lightness to luminance to get the desired look and then we can play around with number of different things like the softness you know like the height if you want to make it really crazy it's a very very cool effect so let's increase the softness to around 90 it's going to be a sweet spot there and for the height i'll go with 60 and um, for the displacement, I want it very subtle. So I'm going to keep it at 50 and let's see what we get. So we get this really cool look. All right, that is looking good. Now we can add a simple choker because I want to make this text a bit shorter than the background text that we will be adding. So let's go into effects and preset, type in simple choker. And let's set this to around, let's go with something like, um, nine nine is a bit too much i think eight should be fine all right and then i will be adding a wave warp effect to make it look a bit more interesting so let's bring down the wave height to three and the wave width to 250 and the direction because right now it's moving the text in uh, you know kind of a flag like movement basically a wave of a flag you can call it so i'm going to set this to 180 because i want it to be vertical the movement to be vertical you know something like that which looks like a distortion and looks pretty cool all right also the wave speed i'm going to bring that down to 0.5 i want to be very slow and subtle so that is looking pretty good i think now you can see we get this kind of a jagged edges so to fix this i can add a fast blur again fast blocks box blur and let's set this to around maybe something very set like two or something two is a way too much maybe one one works fine all right so that is looking pretty nice i guess now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AE Juice. They have an amazing I Want It All bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions, presets, titles for your project. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime. Plus, they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Now let's duplicate this text. So hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. This is going to be our main top text. So I'm going to change the color to something, a different one, like a red. Select the second text. And what I'm going to do is add an effect called Shift Channels. So I'm going to go into Effects and Preset, type in Shift Channels. Double click to apply that up. Now in this effect, we only need to take color from the blue. So I'm going to turn off the red and the green all right 
and also i'm gonna get rid of the simple choco for this one so this is what i was talking about you can see we get this really nice look all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and delete the simple choker in the wave warp i'm gonna increase the height to around let's go with something like eight and also increase the wave width to around 300 so we create create a you know a randomness between both the effect or both the wave warp effect that we added on to our text so we get a really nice look as you can see pretty cool Then again, let's select this hit control D to duplicate it. Select the second one. And this time I'm going to go into the shift channel, turn on the green, um, green and set this off. Also make sure I select both of these layers and change the blending mode to add. Get okay, this really nice look. And now again, we can play around with the wave warp. So I'm going to bring down the wave warp height to one and um, let's see what more we can do we can play around with this one to get a desired look and then i'm going to go into the cc glass and we can tweak the settings from here as well so let's increase the height all the way up to 100 and for the displacement we can go with 150 or something oh that is way too much so something like 90 um that is again way too much so something let's tweak this a little by little so something like 50 is good, I think. Okay, so that is looking pretty nice. Now, finally, I'm going to do this one more time for the red channel. So I'm going to hit Control D again. Select the third one, go into Shift Channel and turn on the red and full off. This to full off. So I'm going to select this, go into the Wave Warp and let's tweak this just a touch like so. Play around with the Wave Height if I want to. Like that and again play around with the displacement like that let's see and as you can see it's looking super cool and you can tweak the settings basically and create your own unique look so if i just ram preview this quickly you can see we get a very nice distortion look so finally, I'm going to add a background. So hit control Y to create a new solid Call this BG for background. Let's make this black. Put it at the back and on the top one, I'm going to add some glow. So let's go to effects and preset type in glow, double click. Let's increase the radius really high and increase the threshold down just like so. Also for the background color, I can add a fill to this and make it black. So as you can see, it looks super cool. Looking very nice. And finally, I would like to add some texture to give a little bit of flavor to this. So let's go into light texture. And by the way, you can download the free project file from the link in the description, which will have all the assets that I use in this tutorial. So I'm going to drag and drop this right here. And let's change the blending mode to screen and bring down the opacity. So hit T and bring that down to around 10. 10 is way too low, maybe 20. Yep. And then basically we can hit control D to duplicate it. And let's keep on dragging this. Just like so. And we get a nice, um, you know, some scratches and dirt effect onto the screen, which looks pretty cool. And the best part is that you can update your text and make it anything. So if I want, I can type in something like go right here. It's going to get updated. I can add add elements if I want to so I can select the rectangle maybe stroke of five and no fill so I'm gonna set this to none and create a stroke like so maybe increase the size a bit and boom looks pretty cool reminds me of that retro glitch style that we have pretty interesting right so it's pretty easy to update and yeah so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out